the uh, there were a number of concerns from the building industry about the increased cost in post of energy efficiency measures. But over time, the building industry has adapted, uh, and now we are building uh, much more efficient uh, homes that are more appropriately designed for our climate here in Australia. It was a very fortuitous uh, decision by COAG and the states and federal government to introduce this uh, energy efficiency provisions into the building code because since 2004, energy prices, as we all know, have increased uh, over 70% in real terms. So without these initiatives, there would be 1 million homes that have been built subsequently that would be less energy efficient. We'd be using up uh, much more of the Earth's resources uh, and costing people a lot more. In the study that was done by the CSR recently on the move to Five Star, uh, they showed that there has been a lot of adaptation uh, and that there are many opportunities for building designers to optimise their designs to reduce costs and offset them against other, other areas. So yes, the study did show that the costs uh, have, uh, have uh, come down or even stay, stayed the same or come down. We've still got a little way to go. Uh, we have uh, opportunities in the HVAC area, uh, you know, the, the, the use of air conditioners uh, is excessive. Uh, we are still putting in units that are not acknowledging the higher energy performance of homes. Uh, that can be improved. The insulation of the ductwork and air conditioning has been proven in recent testing to be of poor quality. Uh, that can be improved. There's work to do in the HVAC area. There's also work to do on the air leakage side.